What makes you worthy to partake of the breaking of bread at the Lord's Supper? Well, number one, it's not baptism. Baptism doesn't make you worthy. You know, baptism doesn't save you. Baptism doesn't wash away sin. Baptism it doesn't make you worthy of anything. The flesh profiteth nothing, right? It's the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. So baptism doesn't make you worthy. But why do people require you to be baptized to partake of the breaking of bread? Um, well, it's because they believe that being baptized, well, this is what I think is mainly the reason, they believe that being baptized adds you to the body of Christ. And I will teach on this when I teach on baptism, but I don't believe baptism adds you to the body of Christ because you can be baptized and not be part of this body tonight, not be part of this church here tonight. So generally they do that because they want to practice a closed communion and only members of their church can partake of the, of the bread and the cup. Um, and they require you to be baptized in order to join that church. And they believe the ordinance was just for that church. And that's why they don't want people um, who aren't baptized partaking of it. But that's not what makes... Baptism doesn't make you worthy. And you know, the Bible says that you have to examine yourself. Baptism can be examined by somebody else because I can examine whether you're baptized or not. Um, so it can't be talking about baptism. 